Cuomo brothers. I don't know if you guys saw this, but it began with CNN anchor Chris Cuomo defending Antifa. If you're a punk who comes to start trouble in a mask and hurt people, you're not about any virtuous cause. You're just somebody who's going to be held to the standard of doing something wrong. But when someone comes to call out bigots and it gets hot, even physical, are they equally wrong as the bigot they are fighting? I argue no. Drawing a moral equivalency between those espousing hate and those fighting it because they both resort to violence emboldens hate. It's not about it being right in the eyes of the law, but you also have to know what's right and wrong in a moral and a good and evil sense. That's why people who show up to fight against bigots are not to be judged the same as the bigots, even if they do resort to the same kinds of petty violence. Now, he's talking about the Antifa people that showed up to protest, uh, I think, a dozen uh, white supremacists the other day. Now, just a reminder, these are the guys, the Antifa people, that Chris Cuomo is defending. What would you do if Donald Trump showed up at the Trump? Murder him. Murder him. Murder him for the people. If it came down to it and it was a group effort, we'd have to do him like Gaddafi. If I get a tattoo to him up, I would. If the president showed up at this march, what would you do, sir? If that's not bad enough, just a few days later, Big Brother Andrew Cuomo said this about the greatest country in the world. We're not going to make America great again. It was never that great. <laughs> we have not reached greatness. We will reach greatness when every American is fully engaged. So Andrew uh, looks at Chris and says, hold my beer. <laughs> what do you want to take right, on well, first? I don't like Italian on Italian crime, so <laughs> let me just try to evaluate it objectively. Okay, number one, Andrew had the worst week, for yes. sure. Uh, but what I would caution my friend Chris Cuomo on is that you really have to study the teachings of Dr. King to understand that you don't fight violence with violence. It's totally inappropriate. Uh, the civil disobedience movement in the United States has done more for equal opportunity than anything. And violence on violence, okay, is a stupid idea. It doesn't matter who it is, okay? But and I, these, think, and these I Antifa, think his brother had a worse week. Though. Right, I Way agree with worse that. Week. And, and the Antifa people, they don't just always show up when there's a white supremacist rally. They show up and protest ICE uh, workers. I think we had video the other day, Charlie, of an Antifa person, a white Antifa protester, calling a black ice worker the N-word. So if they're against intolerance and hate, why are they doing that? And didn't they just... That's right. They just uh, stormed the Breakfast Cafe in Philadelphia, the yeah. city of Brotherly, Brotherly Love. Uh, sorry uh, There that. it is right there, uh, where Candace and I were just having breakfast, and they pour water on us and throw things. And here's the problem um, that I'll, I'll say about saying that, oh, it's okay if this violence happens. Well, because they determine who the bigots are completely and totally subjectively. Right. So they call Candace Owens a white supremacist, therefore it's okay to resort to violence. Oh, and, yeah. and, and, and going to you know, the governor of New York and his, his comments, he's not upset that he said it. He's upset he got caught. True. There, there, there are members of the Democrat Party that truly believe this. Uh, on college campuses, when I visit and I give speeches, I hear every single day, America was never a great country. We're a racist, bigoted, homophobic horrible colonialist country that was illegally founded based on stealing the lands of indigenous people. This is being taught at the elementary stages of our public education system, and he just happened to say what everyone in the base of the Democratic Party believes. Right, it's Trump derangement syndrome. So Trump comes out and says, make America great again, and they feel like they have to do the opposite and say America was never great. And it gets so, them into huge amounts of trouble politically. I'm not a Democratic strategist, but i got to just tell you something. They're playing right into the president's hands. That's okay? right. He wants to push them as far left as possible. And by the way, the Cynthia Nixon people have those placards up, Charlie, where they say America never was great. And that's why he's in there. <laughs> he's making Cynthia that's, Nixon look like a yeah, patriot. That's, that's why he's in there saying that, because he wants to corner their votes. But, Andrew, I mean, that was big foot and mouth disease there, man. Whoa. Think in 2020, the election is going to be about whether or not you love this country. Uh, and that's going to be a pretty horrifying... I'm going to go with the Republicans on that one. Make America... Keep America great. Keep America great, right? Hey, listen, the, Ameri the guy has done a phenomenal job. He's going to win by a landslide in 2020. I mean, it's been... Convincingly just look get reelected. Just look at everything that's going on. He's done a phenomenal job. I just like that. Are those real diamonds on your brooch, it, by it the way? It actually is. This was a, you love America. This was that a father, much to put diamonds this was a fa on Hold on a second. Pen. This was a Father's Day gift from my wife, okay? <laughs> and I love my wife, and so I'm wearing it, okay? Beautiful. You guys can beat Beautiful. up on me. Beautiful, and, Anthony. And don't be telling people it's real, because I don't want to get mugged out there by the Antifa crowd, That's right. Antifa, leave them alone. These are fake rhinestones. 
Oh, that's okay. right. This and don't fake. mess his hair up, all this right? This is fake news jewelry, fellas. <laughs> all right, guys. Next up, controversial radio host Alex Jones banned from pretty